Happy Monday, everyone. This is Mel from Melamorny Nursery. I have brought on a little one that I have not featured on my channel in a long time. And I wanted to feature this little one now because some, some time ago, and I mean some time ago, <laughs> um, this little one was a boy. And of course, this sculpt is the Kai Sculpt by Gudrun Legler. And I had him as a boy, and one of my subscribers had asked to see this sculpt as a girl. And this was the result. This cute little beautiful bundle here with this vintage pink um, dress on with the little uh, embroidered flowers with the pinks and greens and a headband um, with a beautiful pink flower and the green leaves and um, little booties. And I have not wanted to change this little one at all. Just looking so cute. I mean, this one could live in this outfit as far as I'm concerned for the rest of its life. But um, I wanted to bring this sculpt back on because um, I need to let you all know that it's still in my collection, this little one, and I want to announce its new name, her new name, because of course she was a boy before as Kai, and now as a girl she will be Kaya. So little Kaya has come about to being because one of you had asked me to try her out as a girl and she definitely definitely suits the girl look especially with this beautiful blonde hair which she has lots of it and it does need a bit of a brush um she's got little bowled up fists and I am going to put her in a outfit that I showed on my um, haul yesterday that came with five pieces. It came with the sleeper here, which I'm not going to use, not today. Um, this is by New Barn, and it's New, oh, sorry, it says Newborn. I don't know why I said new barn. Um, what is the brand? Isn't that funny how I said new barn and it's... <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Rockabye Baby. Newborn size. So that sleeper is really cute. I mean, it's it's got valentines on it. Really, it's got little bears, you know, with the little heart balloons and this like pink and white, snap down footed sleeper, really cute. But I don't, I don't want to put Kaya in a sleeper today. Um, and it comes with this hat, matching hat as well with the little bears wearing a little like dark pink, almost fuchsia pink. Um, and there's some light pink, um, shirt on the bear and I just thought it would really like suit um that would really go with another outfit but today all I wanted to put on this little one is this sweet little um cute pink onesie with the uh like it's a, a it's a uh, a rose pink maybe with darker pink hearts and then this uh, pink and white trim along the top of the smocking at the neck and around the bottom of the legs and I wanted to put on this little bear bib <clears throat> it's got like the bigger bear with the um, darker fuchsia um, dress on it with the stripes and the light pale heart and then this little bear um, has the light pink um, dress with the stripes and the dark 
uh, heart, dark pink heart, and they both have bows. And the big bear is holding the heart balloon, and it's got the pink and white stripes around the bib. And then I thought I would put on the matching bibs, or the, pardon me, the matching mitts. Um, and then I would just put on these little booties which are um, white with pink um, roses on it. And then, because of the bear theme, even though Kaya's got a little bunny rabbit right now in light pink, you can barely see, um, I thought I would use this bear that came with um, all the goodies that Tammy sent with um, Peggy Sue. So, yeah. Let me tell you how busy, <laughs> how absolutely busy my weekend was, folks. Okay, so, yes, uh, there was a lot of prep work for my grandson's birthday, and um, I, I am really involved with my grandchildren, and I love spending time with them and so they had uh, my daughter my middle daughter had um like a, a birthday party with a couple of kids um on one day and then which was yesterday and then um that was at a place um where they could go jumping in this like it's called flying squirrel um, so there was that part and then the family part of it was Saturday, which was his actual birthday. So my grandson's birthday is on the 18th and my youngest daughter's, uh, birthday is on the 19th, which, um, yeah, it, so, <laughs> so there was some prep work involved in that and she had asked me to help her out with some of the prep work. So I did picking up balloons and whatnot and and you know just getting things like the helium balloons filled up and doing some running around and um i think i'm just gonna try water squirt water on this brush for for his hair her hair see as i take um as i take off the um the little pink dress i my mind wants to revert to the little boy um, image, um, but definitely this one is a little girl. And I think I put too much water on that brush, but that's okay. We'll just use some booties and just make sure there's no drain of water anywhere. So then there was my normal um, housework. And I think I'm going to take off this onesie as well because I want the other onesie to fit snug. Um, even though I like the onesie on to protect the, the cloth body. So Kaya is getting a full body change and I want to check her diaper out too. Because it's been so long since she has um, been on this channel. And... Um, So not only that on Saturday, but I, I mean, I worked all night and then I had to run around and then I had to come back and do all my housework and my garden work and, um, which is time consuming for me because I don't move as fast as I used to. Um, and I plugged on, plugged on, plugged on. It was a beautiful day on Saturday, so... This uh, undershirt I had removed uh, was Zero Months. It says Preemie by George. So that was one of the ones that Tracy sent in that box of clothing a while back. So I imagine this one will fit more or less the same way. Already that color looks really cute. So uh, Saturday was really busy. I mean, there was, I was making a list and checking it twice, let me tell you. And then, uh, of course, as you know, I had um, uploaded two videos for that day. 
and two videos for Sunday. And, um, you know, for me to, to fit in like four videos this weekend was something else, but, um, you know, I really, I really do love connecting with all of you. And, you know, the one thing I never did was wish, uh, all the fathers out there or the mothers that acted as fathers out there happy father's day i completely slipped my mind um so i do wish to to extend that now um all the reborn fathers out there all the all the reborn mummies that are you know in real life with real children doing both jobs you know same goes for on mother's day you know i always say whatever whatever job you're doing if you're doing both jobs well you can celebrate both holidays this diaper seems to be doing okay so yeah but that completely slipped my mind because i <laughs> i just had too much uh on the go and of course i um had to get back to um a lot of work because uh, this last week I had two major uh, editing um, assignments and I'm also working on my own stuff. So yeah, it was without a doubt, it was pretty, um, it was a pretty busy weekend for me. And then uh, yesterday was my youngest daughter's birthday and she loves sushi. So we did that for supper but she wanted me to make <laughs> and i i i haven't made this folks in a long time usually just for birthdays i reserve making anything special otherwise i just go buy it but um the kids do remember that i used to bake everything um i used to bake my own bread i used to bake my own cookies and so I used to make pastas and everything from scratch. So my youngest daughter wanted me to um, make her a tiramisu cake. And I'm just seeing how this is going to look on this little one. How is that going to look on you? It's not, it's not the same bow for sure this one here but it it's pretty close I think that's pretty close and let's look at these booties here the choices I have I'm almost tempted to put these pink ones back on her the only reason I wanted to put the white ones on yeah, I think I'll put the white ones on. Um, is because they tie up and this one has very tiny feet. So I made a tiramisu cake and I, I haven't made a tiramisu cake in some years. And the first time I went to make it, I did it wrong and had to redo it. <laughs> Which meant going out for some extra ingredients because I don't like to stockpile those ingredients. So that took a little extra time, but it was worth it. Um, and then my car, <laughs> my car, uh, I don't know if some of you remember, I was telling you all about my car having issues and with not starting up. And uh, she's been back to doing that. I haven't been mentioning it on my channel because I just figured, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to. Uh, harp on it. It's been into the dealership and mechanic so many times now. Um, but I'm not ready to turn my back on it just yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, eventually it will get to the point where it just doesn't start up again for me. Uh, and I will, <laughs> I will then do something about it if the dealership can't figure it out. So, um, of course, yesterday was one of those days where the car decided, no, it was going to take a breather. And it's never very long. It's only for about 15 to 20 minutes, except when it's really stubborn. It's like, it's like my vehicle is having a, a bit of a, 
uh, it's like putting a leash on a cat, I suppose, that, you know, uh, a cat in particular that isn't used to um, being on a leash, if you will. And uh, so, um, <laughs> anyway, she started up and my daughter was saying to me, you know, mom, you should just go and get a new vehicle. But that's not how I was raised to do things. I was raised to use things until you fix them or until, um, until the problem was found. You just didn't replace it or chuck it out. You know what I'm saying? So this outfit is looking very, very sweet on Kaya. Um, so, yeah, and then, of course, um, you know, I am filming this the night before, so I'm speaking as if it's already Monday, but it's actually uh, Sunday night, so this, this was my day today, and I know it must sound confusing, but... Um, now I've got to go back to work. And I appreciate everybody's comments. I, I'm going to take uh, some time tomorrow, dedicated time tomorrow, and uh, work on all the comments uh, that I have not been able to look at. Uh, I have read them. I haven't even hearted them, folks, because I want to heart them and comment, okay? So that's why I haven't done it. But I've read, like, I, I've scanned every comment, you know, um, and... You know, i got to wait for the dentist. Well, I have the dentist tomorrow. So, um, you know, while I'm waiting for that, and let's pray that, you know, my vehicle, whom I call Blue, will, uh, will start. Which I'm sure she will. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Hope for the best, pray for the worst. And if not, just call a cab, right? Um, so, let's see if this little soother fits here. So I think the magnet actually, now Tammy, this is the one that you sent with Peggy Sue, and I think it's actually a weak magnet in there, and not so much the fact that it didn't work, because it wants to try to stick. But sometimes, and I pulled out a magnet to show you, um, these are super strong magnets. Okay, super, super strong magnets that you can order. Uh, I ordered them in um, off of Amazon, super strong. And I'm going to be replacing a bunch of magnets to, to this one. And if you can tell, uh, the magnet doesn't even want to stick to the, the magnet underneath the felt. So what I'm thinking is, is that the magnets aren't very strong. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Not that the 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 passy or soother wasn't working. So yeah, um, this is little sweet Kaya. She hasn't left my nursery, and I thank everybody for all your views, and for all your comments and love and support. And um, this uh, is not Disney Monday. Instead, uh, D from the Baby Patch has suggested that Mondays we have like free day, um, where where everybody does their own thing. Uh, if they don't want to do like a particular theme or um, anything, so um, you know, which is nice. It gives a bit of variety to the channels instead of you know all one theme sometimes. There are so many themes now out there, folks. You could literally like do two or three videos a day if you wanted to. There's so many, so many themes out there. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's just nice to do a change in chat and put on a little outfit and say, look how cute baby is. And I just love this sculpt's uh, beautiful little legs. Really cute. Let's see if I can't show you all without any shadows. I like to get a different view for you all. And Chris was asking me from Chris's Cuddles if putting socks and tights was a Canadian thing. No, I think it's a male thing. 
<laughs> I looked back on that video uh, briefly and I was like, why did I put those pink socks on? Why, In fact, why did I put those tights on her at all with this that blue dress? I mean, I just didn't like that whole outfit at all. Um, but I wanted to, I should have just stuck with the dress and bare feet and a hairband or like, I don't know, plain white socks, maybe. I don't know. Um, I definitely have some fails in my wardrobe, folks. I definitely do. Uh, it's nice when I get sets like this because I'm pretty much, you know, walked right through the process of dressing these reborns. <laughs> but anyway, there is Kaya. And I pray you all have a blessed and beautiful Monday. And I will see you next time, folks. Take care. Bye for now.